Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another mixed media art video. Today we're going to do day two of our 100 day project. I'm going to be working in my new homemade sketchbook. Look how thick this thing is. Um, I will post a video later, well probably tomorrow. I'm still waiting for the cover to dry, but this is what we're working with. It's um, We're going to do front and back, so it is 50 pages on the front and 50 pages on the back. Um, it's pretty easy to make. You just have to be patient and look how flat it lays. It's kind of fun. Okay, so we're gonna start with page one. So today I'm gonna try a color transfer. So here I trimmed off, I printed off this photo and I've cut off half of it. It's actually a vertical photo this way, but I'm only gonna use this part so let's see if we can make this work. Get the hand sanitizer there. And we're just gonna saturate this as much as we can. Now, using the sketchbook, we may not be able to, uh, we can still do both sides. Just all the, Things in the sketchbook won't be uh, image transfers. Okay, let's give this a try. I think I got the right side. We're gonna see. Oh yeah, you can feel it sticking. Okay, moment of truth. Where is my? I'm gonna use my. folder and really get in there. I think it's working. Like I said, this is not a perfect technique, but if you don't have a laser printer, like I don't, this is a way that we can get images onto paper without all of the rubbing back, the messy peeling off the back of paper. Okay, we just let this set for about five minutes, maybe. Um, let's peel it up and see what we get. Ooh, look at that. Okay, it's not perfect. Um, but there's still an image there. I don't think it works as well as the black and white, but you can see that it's, let's get a little closer. It definitely transferred, but I don't think it's as clear as the black and white, but we're gonna use it. So now we need to think what we're gonna do next. Okay, so I wasn't terribly happy with that. So I went back and just squirted some hand sanitizer and reapplied it. And it came out much nicer. Like I got a lot more uh, image off of there. So that's much nicer. So we're gonna do a side experiment here. Give me one second. We're gonna just try the rest of this and see if maybe if we have a globby amount of the sanitizer rather than all brushed in, if that makes a difference. So let's have a little play. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna saturate it like we did before. Actually, I'm not even sure if I need to do the back side. Let's see what happens if we just put it on. So I want a little bit more in there. So for that one, I did 
I'm going to leave it a little bit standing. It's not going to dry completely. Let's just see what happens. Okay, it's really slippery, first of all. That's something you notice. You really have to hold on to it because <laughs> it's kind of slipping around there. Oh, I think this is working much better. And we didn't saturate the back on this one. Oh, I think this is going to be good. As you can see that it's much more solid. I don't see any little areas, but you have to hold on to it. I might suggest, I might tape it down next time so it's not moving around. Although you can just hold on to it because it's very slippery <laughs> with that hand sanitizer. And you can see that we're getting a little bleed through the ink there. I think this is going to be good, guys. I think this is going to be really fun. Game changer. Okay. Let's lift it up and see. Oh, guys, this is going to be so good. You're going to love this. If you're like me, I take, I probably have over 15,000 photos on my Flickr account, which... I don't know if anybody uses Flickr anymore, but I have tons of photos that I take that I can use in my work. Okay, let's lift it up. You guys, look at that. Okay, that was one side with the color image, just with not letting it dry completely, but leaving it a bit more saturated. Um, I wanna try one more. Okay. I didn't mean for this to turn into this tutorial, but I'm having such a good time. And we'll get back to what we were doing before. Or maybe I'll just leave this, I don't know. So you can see here, it's kind of gloopy. Is that a word? Gloopy. Okay, let's look at, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see how shiny it is? I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. So the key I think is not to let it dry and you don't need to saturate it that much, but you need to have it sort of standing on there. This is so exciting. Okay. And you see how that just sort of like you don't even really need to brayer it. You have to be a little careful though, because I've noticed that the the ink is kind of smooshing around, but I, I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna use my fingers right here and then get my brayer out. I think the brayer is working better then. Anything else I've done. And you gotta remember to hold it down, which can be a bit awkward. The other thing to remember too is that I'm using 100% cotton rag paper. I don't know that you can use like just regular drawing paper. You probably could. I just don't see why it wouldn't work. I don't see why it wouldn't work on wood. We'll try that next. Maybe we should try it on wood. Um, but we're gonna just have to all play together and figure this out because it's kind of exciting. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Guys, guys, look at that. 
Look at that. How fun is that? Okay, back to the project. Let me know if you have any questions though. So let's continue with some lines. Let's see if we can incorporate this into this piece. Let's see what we get. I sort of like these, these lines going here. So maybe we'll just sort of naturally bring them up. I don't know. I really like that bark pencil that I used yesterday with the DeWint ink out oh, wrong pencil. DeWint ink tense pencil. I think it works really fun for this. So let's add some more. I like how it's kind of purpley, kind of brown purpley. Get the color shaper out. It's a wonderful color. I thought it was just more brown, but not a color I would normally pick, but I do like it. I love how I can manipulate it with the color shaper and it dries pretty transparent. Love the ink tints. I need to add, I think I'm gonna add some watercolor to kind of bring these two together. So just looking at my palette, I feel like that might be the color. Cause we've already got this blue, but this green might be better. Um, Let me think about it. Okay, so I think after looking at it, I've got these little bits of orange, so I feel like this sort of orangey color might be good. And these are the Kiritakis. What do we think? I don't know that it really goes with that color up there, but it definitely goes with the one at the bottom. Um... I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit. Get out the color shaper. So I think we need some of this blue up here to kind of bring in what we got going on here. Oh, that wasn't completely dry. Oops. That's all right. Maybe right, some down there, maybe some over here, just to make it a little bit more. Does that look weird? I don't know if I can't, I can't gauge. I'm in a very anti-make decision-making day today. Don't know what's going on. I'm usually not like that. Okay. Okay, I think I need to tone this down a little bit. I'm not really liking that color so much. Let's add in some of the sepia acrylic ink. I'm gonna make some marks, kind of bring this down a little bit. We'll go back in with the color shaper. Maybe. Maybe we'll just use the palette knife. It needed something that was darker through there to kind of bridge the gap between those two. I think that works much better. I 
this one out circle him. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of this um, English red. Just in some spots through here. I'm going to bridge that gap just a little bit more. I think I want some down here as well. Maybe a little bit over here. Oh yeah, that works. I was worried about that color because it wasn't working for me, but I like I like all this energy we got going on here. Like might need a little bit more lines coming through here. still a little wet all right so day two of the 100 day project in the books I love the transfer I like how it kind of just seamlessly blends in I really like what's going on here and I like this I'm okay with this color now that I toned it down a little bit but it's really nice I think I'm gonna put this one for sale up in the art shop um, so don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the video if you want to see more work and we're going to keep playing a new video every day for 98 more days. I hope you can hang with me. Um, and let me know if you're doing the project too. I want to know. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.